Hello everybody, welcome back to another Plants vs Zombies video here today on my channel and today we're going to be talking about the state of Plants vs Zombies. We're going to be talking about the Plants vs Zombies shooters, if you guys were not aware, there has been a huge problem with hackers on the shooters on PC. So that's Garden Warfare 1. Garden Warfare 2 and Battle for Neighborville. There were ways that hackers were able to kind of glitch out your account so that your account got banned. So we are going to be talking about the updates that have been happening throughout the month since I last made a video so that you guys can stay up to date. And I also want to talk about a potential new community manager for Plants vs Zombies as well because they've been pretty active on the EA forums and we're just going to talk about a little bit of things that they have been talking about and then we've got a little bit more news about Plants vs Zombies 3. We've got a bunch to dive into so let's get straight into it. So first of all we are going to start off with talking about Plants vs Zombies shooters on PC and the problem with hackers. Of course it's been over a month since I made my last video and there have been a few updates. First of all, on the 19th of October, Jeff Braddock, who is one of the lead community managers at EA, said that no one is staying silent. I've stated multiple times that the security team is investigating the PVZ issue. We're not going to guess or make any early statements until the team working on the issues shares an update. Now, the reason this happened is because somebody said that, you know, they're not doing anything, they're just staying silent. So that was a little update on October the 19th. We then followed up with another update on October the 25th, saying another update on the PVZ issue. The team is running daily scripts to resolve any new issues from the exploits as they work to close it out. Um, now, the reason they did this is because they are still trying to figure out the issues and also resolve them. But the good news is that people have been getting unbanned. I believe that there's been waves every single day of accounts getting unbanned that were unlawfully, is that the correct word? Accounts that were not meant to be banned, that were banned due to the hackers, uh, the hackers. a bunch of them have started getting unbanned so they are now able to play again, which is very good news. Somebody did ask the question, does this explain the seemingly by daily unban waves? And Jeff responded with yes. Now, apparently when people have been unbanned, the level has not returned to what it initially was. Instead, they've had their levels, I think, promoted to master rank or something like that. I believe that the reason people were banned is the hackers were making their accounts over leveled so that means that the anti-cheat is like this isn't right you shouldn't be over leveled we're gonna ban you and then when they've been unbanned instead of them going back to the original level that they were they've been put to master level like the max official legitimate level that you could be in the game so somebody did ask the question, can unbanned people return to their original levels and ranks instead of automatically turning characters in to master? You know, for W people that want to get max rank through hard earned progress. So of course this does seem to be a bit of an issue for those that want to legitimately get to max rank. But for those that were banned and now unbanned, their characters are now master rank rather than being the level that they were. Jeff does respond by saying, I understand why you asked the question, and honestly, I do not know, as the main goal is to get folks that were unjustly banned in the game back able to play again. So it does seem like that their main focus is not bringing the level that these players were back to where they were. The main focus is just getting people to be able to play the game again. So if you were hoping to level up your characters and try and get to master rank or max rank yourself legit, it seems like that that isn't going to be the case as of now. What the future holds though, we do not know. Hopefully they can fix this issue completely and then they can revert everybody's levels back to where they were. But at least we do have good news on the whole front of Plants vs Zombies on the shooters, the hackers. I don't think they've been stopped yet. However, people are being unbanned 
so they can at least play the game again. If we do hear any more information, I will, of course, let you guys know. So make sure you do subscribe and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with everything that we do have going on with this hacking issue on the shooters. Now let's talk about the Plants vs Zombies forums because it seems like we have a new potential community manager either on the forums or on the EA Plants vs Zombies side anyway. We have somebody called EA Shepherd that said uh, last Monday... I believe it was, or it was Monday just gone saying, Hello Neighborville, a latest community update. I'm beyond excited to introduce myself. I am EA Shepard, your community manager for all things Mass Effect, Dragon Age, and Dead Space. I'm an avid Bioware and RPG enthusiast, and I bring quite a bit of experience and passion for gaming to our community. I'm excited to start interacting more with you all here on these boards. I figured a brief intro would be a great way to start things off. I'm here to help out and I'm keen to hear about your PvZ experiences and what makes the game special for you. He then goes on to say, we want to hear from you. You, the player, are the heart and soul of our community. We're eager to hear your story. Why do you adore the franchise so much? Share those memorable moments with you and stories that keep you immersed in this delightfully chaotic world of PvZ. And then just asked a few little brief questions and things like which platform do you play to log into and why plants or zombies you decide which modes and maps are your favorite to battle in and let's not forget about merch do you have any unique items to share and then for any god of War 2 players out there who's rocking the z7 mech he then goes on to link the socials of instagram and twitter uh, that people can go ahead and follow we haven't had any social posts at all yet uh, but it's quite interesting that we do have somebody that was or is the community manager of Mass Effect, Dragon Age, and Dead Space. But it's also very active on the Plants vs. Zombies forums now. I've been reading through a bunch of the forums and he's been very active with communicating with the community over there. Which of course is nice to see, especially with how quiet everything is on social media. We did get a very nice post from a user called Iron Guard. It's quite a long post, but you know what? We're going to read the whole thing anyway. They say, I'm a longtime fan of PvZ, going back to the original game on Steam. I gravitated towards the shooters as I have, have a history of loving games like Doom, Quake, Heretic, and so on. So when Garden Warfare 1 launched on PC, I was hooked. I ended up liking Garden Warfare 2 even more, and although I don't dislike BFN, I don't play it much anymore. I do play a little PvZ on mobile, but I haven't played PvZ 2 or Heroes much anymore, despite enjoying both titles. I focus on Garden Warfare 2 on PC, where I have over 3,000 hours. Iron Guard, you are an avid PvZ player, we can definitely tell. They go on to say, I like playing both sides fairly equally. I may have a slight zombie bias, but I enjoy both sides. And where else can we hear Crazy Dave's wisdom if we're not playing on the plans? I love Turf Takeover and Ops the most, but I do enjoy all the modes. My favourite maps include a mix of Garden Warfare and Garden Warfare 2 maps. Main Street, Cactus Canyon, Zombopolis, Frontline Flats and Crash Course. Love Main Street. Love it, love it, love it. For merch, I have no handy photos, but I do have the art book, the Risk game and some other miscellaneous things around the house. I have the Unicorn Chomper and the Z7 mech in Garden Warfare 2. Also did all the trials back when they were new as well. Even have some turkey zombies left in the original Garden Warfare to summon. And then obviously they do go on to say, I hope your post here is a good sign for the future of the franchise. Especially the shooters. I still log into Garden Warfare 2 pretty much every day but would love a well-made new PvZ shooter. EA Shepard then goes on to say, hey, thanks for the post. I really appreciate it. I was a big FPS fan for the longest time too. Doom and Quake were all, always on that list. By your post, you are deaf, dedicated to getting hours and content in. This is wonderful. Then goes on to say, I really appreciate you taking the time to get all of this in. Most of us would love a new one to hop into and enjoy. Until then, we always have Garden Warfare 2 and BFN to keep us occupied. It's just nice that he did touch onto that, saying like, you know, until then we have a new one. Obviously, I don't think they're working on a new shooter, but they are, of course, working on Plants vs. Zombies 3. And hopefully how active this community uh, manager seems to be at the moment in the servers or the forums, 
uh, it could be good news that things are happening. KCPVZ then goes on to say, honestly, BFN needs more updates. More updates and the game would be perfectly well. Also, character challenges glitch out on the Switch version and you have 999 prize bulbs. And the completed all prize maps, you don't get any rewards. At least give me nothing so I can 100% completion, uh, get the 100% completion award. Other than that, we need more playable characters. At the least, release nearly finished Iceberg Lettuce, also BB9001, Brainy and Basher 9001, really needs to be fixed. While I can dodge it, it's troublesome for new players. Shepard quoted this and said, you're spot on here, and I agree. That's why I'm here too. I cannot guarantee there will be a lot of these updates, but at the same time, the community should be heard. And that is what I do. I get the feedback up the chain. It's just out of my hands what eventually does happen, you know. But nonetheless, the feedback is heard. So that's important there. The community manager here also agrees we should be getting some more updates on some new content or at least some things fixed or added that weren't there. So they also agree that's the case and they have passed that feedback on. Of course, they can't guarantee anything's going to happen. But hey, at least they're listening and at least they're passing on it the information or at least they're communicating that they're passing on the information because that is one of the things which is a big problem with PVZ right now is that we just don't have communication. They're just completely silent or we just don't hear what we want to hear. So it's good that at least they are saying that we are getting the feedback passed on. Of course, we would all like to see new updates and content in the PVZ shooters or even a new game to be created. I don't think the new game is going to happen and I don't think we're going to get much content, but there is potentially a few things which could happen, which would be very nice that I think a lot of people will be excited for. And one of them is in Garden Warfare 2 with the Mystery Portal. There is a complete thread on the EA forums talking about getting new rotation into the Mystery Portal and Community Shepherd has been quite active in that thread. A lot of people do want to have Capture the Taco to return. They want to have the different boss hunts to return, cats versus dinos, and things like that to return. And uh, EA Shepard does say, Hey everyone, thank you for sending this feedback over. We appreciate the detailed info you have listed, and we hear you. And I want to make sure you know that we see this. We will forward this over to the team so they can review this and continue to make changes for the players. Hopefully that is something that can happen, and we can get more content added into the mystery portal they're not necessarily new content but at least a more and, and bigger variety of content we never see cats versus dinos we never see capture the taco we never see soil survivors we never see boss hunt we want to see those in the mystery portal even if it's just every now and then we get somebody responding to this thread saying late to the party here but my ideal list would make one boss hunt available per season such as sasquatch in summer yeti in winter and so on. Anything is better than a random mix mode no one cares about. And then he responds by saying, you are never late to the party. I can see advantages of both. I do like the idea of having one boss hunt per season, but it would have to be a good enough fit for the community that it doesn't get dull. So with that being said, how would you prevent a one boss per season event from getting tedious and helping players keep interested in that one boss fight? Now, there was a bunch of discussion about potentially having like the Spooky Squash at Halloween, the Yeti King at Christmas, throwing cats versus dinos and soul survivors and things like that, which I definitely think is what we want. Community manager EA Shepard responds by saying, Halloween being one of my favorite holidays, I'm all for that happening. Yes, the rotation is on point. This way, you can swap over once done. It doesn't get too repetitive. That's a good call out. Cats vs. Dinos was a cool one. I enjoyed playing it. And I am an achievement hog. So any mode that has those in it, I will absolutely play for sure. I'm all about that. This is the feedback we like to have. Mix it up, make it more fun, and something to look forward to and less repetitive. I gotcha. So this is good to know. He's acknowledging that there are achievements that we are unable to do because we cannot play Cats vs. Dinos. We cannot play Boss Hunt. He's an achievement hunter. He wants to get those achievements done and knows that people will play these portal events knowing that you can unlock achievements. So it makes sense to put it in the Mystery Portal event. Fingers crossed we get to see the Boss Hunts. We get to see Cats vs. Dinos. We get to see Soul Survivors capture the taco. All of these modes in the portal very soon.
I could keep on reading a bunch, but what I will do is I'll leave the link to the EA forums down in the description if you guys want to read through any of it yourself. But it is nice to know that the community manager is quite active in this forum. Of course, he seems to be relatively new, but he's very active. He's talking to people. He understands where we're coming from. He is passing the information on. Of course, it's completely out of his hands, and I'm not saying that anything will happen. However, it is nice to know that we know and are being told that they are listening to this feedback and they are passing it it on, which is something we wasn't getting before. So I will leave the thread to the forum down in the description. So hopefully something can happen and we can at least play some of the old modes that we've not been able to play for a very long time. And the final thing which I do want to let you know about in today's video is Plants vs Zombies 3. So before we had a, a little message pop up in Plants vs Zombies 3 saying that there was a new update. But of course there was no update because it wasn't in the store so nothing would happen. A little bit after that message was in screen, in game, it was then taken away again. And then we didn't get that message anymore and it went back to what it used to be. That message is now back in the game or it has been back in the game for a little bit. So are we going to be getting another Plants vs Zombies 3 beta, pre-alpha, anytime soon. I hope so. The fact that it does say a new version is available. Because we had new version available, it was then taken away, and then it's been re-added again. So they're definitely still doing something in the background. We just don't know what. Anyway, guys, I am going to leave the video there. Hopefully you did enjoy it. I know it was quite a long one, but I did want to do a bunch of details into the Plants vs. Zombies forum because it seems like we have at least on the forums a new community manager, which is obviously a good sign. He's very active, which is also a good sign. And he's passing on feedback, which is a good sign as well. Can't guarantee anything will happen, but hey, at least they are communicating with us. Nonetheless, the guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, please drop a like down below. I will catch you in the next one.